Hi, my name's Kaylin Ashley. I'm here with my good friend Callie, and we're gonna go ahead and turn Melody here into Sookie from True Blood. So we're gonna go ahead and focus more on kind of the blood and the gore for Halloween. Um, so since Sookie's not really known for a crazy like makeup transformation, we're gonna do a 3D a bite wound on her neck and give her some blood. So we've got a white shirt here so that blood really shows off. Um, and uh, Callie's gonna go ahead and give her a nice, fresh, clean makeup look. She didn't do, wear a whole lot of makeup on the show, so we just wanna do a nice kind of out on the town kind of look. All right, Melody, are you ready to get transformed into Sookie from True Blood? Yeah. Awesome, let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and go in with an Evian spray water to just uh, prep and prime the skin. And now Callie is using a product called Professional that's a nice um, skin primer. Now we're gonna go ahead with your base and uh, put a light foundation on you to uh, just get you nice and ready for the day. While Kelly's doing her beauty makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and give her a signature vampire bite wound using a two-part silicone product. And we basically mix the two together and it creates a sculptable medium that we can then apply to the skin and it'll actually set, leave a prosthetic pretty much on the skin that's custom and blended and then paint it and she can walk around with a cool, rad, custom bite wound. So now Kelly's doing a little bit of a eyeshadow to the brow, just to add some shape to them. Still staying natural, we're not trying to go for a severe look here, so it's all within the realm of like a nice natural beauty makeup. So one of Sookie's main identifying features is a tooth gap, so we're gonna actually give that to you really simply with a bit of a tooth enamel. So what you're gonna do is wipe down your teeth to get them dry and then smile, and then we're gonna actually give you her signature tooth gap. And uh, this will simply wash out when you or when you brush your teeth. Over time, they will start to rub away, but they're great for photos before you leave the house. <laughs> now Kelly's gonna go ahead and give her that signature kind of pinky lip. So now that we're done with your beauty makeup, we're gonna go ahead and start with um, some paint to start coloring your wound. And I like to use a little bit of a redness to create that irritation, a little kind of on a pink corally light, uh, darker red tones and put them in the bite wounds I created. So I'm using a combination of a um, kind of fresh blood red and then a bit of a darker blood red, all within this custom blood palette I've made. And then a bit of a, uh, these coral and kind of pink tones. So before we get too carried away with blood, we're gonna go ahead and get her into the uh, signature blonde Sookie wig. So Callie is going in and braiding her hair, basically to keep her hair as flat as possible. She'll put it in a French braid and then kind of tuck it up into a wig cap and then that way her natural hair is not getting in the way of the wig. Well now that you look awesome and blonde and just like Sookie, it's time to finish you with a little bit of blood. How do you feel? I don't know. <laughs> So a good blood trick, if you ever find that whatever Halloween store fake blood you use is uh, stained your skin, a little bit of shaving cream will help get that off. So I'm just going back in with a little bit of a thicker blood just to kind of connect the two fake bloods together. Whenever you see any kind of movie or TV show, if there's blood involved, there's usually probably about three or four different types. All right, then now you have your completed look for a sucky stack of True Blood. Hey. I'm Melody, and today I got transformed into Sucky from True Blood. <laughs>